Happy. It's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan. Hope everybody's having a great day. Okay. So we are going to be making a fun little treat box um, for a birthday party that um, I'm doing for a friend. I'm using the masterfully, um, masterfully made 12 by 12 designer series paper. This is like my all time favorite piece. And then I'm using some um, Melon Mambo cardstock. I also um, went ahead and pre-cut out a uh, thank you from the Charming Sentiments. And then I did a stylus shape as well in shaded spruce. It doesn't say it coordinates with that project. I know it's pretty peacock, but I thought it went well. And I'm going to be cutting this shape in half. So um, don't worry about that. But let's go ahead and get started. You're first going to want to bring in your paper trimmer. And we need to cut this cardstock into a piece that is six by six. And then another piece that is three and one eighth by three and one eighth. So in this project, I'm not really doing any stamping, although I pre-stamped um, the sentiment just because I wanted to get that die cut out. Um, so these are the only two pieces of cardstock you need. Now, what we're going to do is on that six by six piece, we want to score it on all four sides at two inches. Okay, then we're going to set that aside and we're going to bring in the smaller piece. Now, this is our lid. And on this one, we want to score all four sides at a half inch. So I'm using the half inch on my right hand side to line that up with. Okay, so those there's those two pieces. Now I want to come in with that masterfully made 12 by 12 designer series paper, and I need to cut five pieces that are one and seven eighth by one and seven eighth. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to set those aside. Now I need to cut um, four pieces of three eighths of an inch by one and seven eighth. So one, two, three, four. So as you can see, we only used one thin strip of designer series paper, which is wonderful. Then while I have my paper trimmer out, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in half. Okay. Okay. 
So next what we want to do is we want to bring in our bone folder and we want to burnish all of our score lines. There's that one. And then that one. Next, we are going to cut this. We're going to cut on the intersecting or the score line to that intersecting score line. And we're going to wedge on the square. Okay. And you're going to do that for each tab, but you're going to turn it like a pinwheel. That just helps strengthen the box. And you're going to do that for the top and the bottom piece. Last one on the top. Okay. Now we're going to do the bottom. I'll lay these down as soon as I do the last cut here so that you can see what I did laying down flat. Okay, so there's both those in that pinwheel shape pattern. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add that designer series paper to the top or to the four sides and the top of the center. Okay. And I'm going to use that colorful, really pretty side. Oops, a flying piece of paper. Okay, last one on the big box. Or the bottom of the box. Now let's do that top. And what I'm going to do is with those little pieces, I'm going to put them around the edge, but I'm going to flip it onto that purple side. Just like this, just to give it a tiny bit of contrast. I didn't get that piece very centered on that front, but hopefully you won't notice once I put that sentiment on there. I was too busy looking at, to see if anybody commented and wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. Okay. So now we are going to go ahead and start gluing up the box. So I'm going to just put glue on each of those tabs, fold it in. At the, at the end, I'll use my bone folder and make sure it's all glued down nice and flat. Sorry if I got off camera there for a minute. Just trying to line it up. Okay, so then I'm going to just take my bone folder 
and go over it. Make sure it's nice and glued down. So it's a good size treat box. Now you could fill this with candy or um, earrings or, you know, money. The sky's the limit. So we're going to do the same thing on this one. Just the tiny little edges. It would also be cute if you made um, these for Christmas, which is where I originally got the idea from Stampin' with Amore. She didn't do the designer series paper on the lip, but she was saying it was an ornament. But I was thinking it would be cute to make an ornament and um, put it in the box. Okay, one last tab and then we'll run our bone folder over it. Now at this point you can be done and decorate the box or you can do what I'm gonna do here, something a little different. And I'm going to put a hole on each side or on two sides, I should say. Oh, I did it through, dang it. I didn't mean to do that. go and then I'm just going to put some ribbon through now I am using a retired ribbon I'm I apologize for that I'm using some of the white crinkle ribbon um, I'm just trying to use this up so use whatever ribbon you have in your stash And then you're going to want to tie it in a knot a couple of times here. I always keep, I always try to keep white ribbon on hand just in case I don't have a ribbon that coordinates with the project. And then I always know I have some. And so that's just why I had this extra ribbon here. And you could color this ribbon too, which is really fun. Oh, I'm going to have to do quite a bit more. I should have done a thicker ribbon. Come on. Okay, there's that. And then let's feed this through here. And then do the same thing on this side. Sorry if I'm getting off camera, you guys. It's hard to tie that ribbon. so far away from me. I have it stuck on the bottom. There we go. That will give me a little bit more room. Ah, uh, come on. I should have, like I said, done a thicker ribbon. This makes such a small hole. I was just not thinking. Okay, that'll work for now. So then you're going to put your little lid on your box after you finish decorating it all up. And then I was just going to glue down half my shape here. And then I'm going to use a dimensional... To glue on that happy, or not 
happy birthday to glue on that thank you. And then that's your project, you guys. So like I said, these would be really cute. I gotta get a little more glue here. These would be really cute favors. And that's what I'm using it for, for a birthday party that I'm going to today. So there is your project. I hope you guys had fun creating with me. Sorry if I get a little bit off camera sometimes. Um, I don't mean to. But if you create one of my projects, I'd love to see what you create or put your own spin on things. I'd love for you to tag me. And until next time, my creative peeps, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.